Welcome to Rocket Propulsion Fundamentals. Today's lesson is on flight performance. Newton's second law of motion states force is equal to mass times acceleration. Total impulse, also known as momentum, measures over what time a force is exerted. A specific impulse is the total impulse per unit weight flow rate of propellant. A specific impulse is one of the most important characteristics of a rocket because it tells us how efficient the rocket is. A high specific impulse tells us a lot of force is exerted over a long period of time by using up less fuel. A low specific impulse tells us less force is exerted over a shorter period of time by using more fuel. Since weight comes at a premium for rockets, you ideally want to have more thrust by using less fuel. Thrust is how much force is generated by combustion. We know by, New we know by Newton's second law that force is equal to mass times acceleration, and acceleration is equal to velocity over time. We can define a quantity, the mass flow rate, that tells us how much mass a propellant flows through into the combustion chamber per unit time. And our equation for thrust becomes F equals mass flow rate times velocity. We know that not all of this thrust goes towards accelerating the rocket. The air molecules in the air exert a pressure on the exhaust molecules coming out of the rocket, but the exhaust molecules also exert a pressure on the air molecules. Since we know that force equals pressure times area, we can see that these molecules exert forces on each other. We can add these forces to our thrust equation. Since the force due to the air molecules slows down the exhaust molecules, this force is negative. Now we, are, now we have our complete equation for thrust. Rocket nozzles are usually designed so that the exhaust pressure is equal to the ambient pressure. When exhaust pressure is greater than ambient pressure, thrust does increase, but at a cost. This is called under expansion, and the exhaust finishes expanding outside of the nozzle. When exhaust expands in the nozzle, the exhaust pressure drops and the velocity increases. By extending this nozzle, by extending this nozzle just a little further to make the exhaust pressure equal to the ambient pressure, we can allow the exhaust velocity to increase and therefore increase the thrust in the long run. If exhaust pressure is lower than ambient pressure, we lose thrust due to pressure. This is called overexpansion. As a result, we have expansion waves within the, within the nozzle where the exhaust separates from the wall. This separation increases thrust slightly because it allows the exhaust velocity to increase, so it is sometimes desirable. However, these expansion waves cause turbulence within the flow. Also, by reducing the size of the nozzle, we can increase the overall performance of the rocket by reducing the weight and this will increase the thrust in the long run. For this reason, while expansion waves cause a slight increase in thrust, it's not worth the extra weight that the larger nozzle imposes.